Hi, this is the Ivy League Astrologer with, with um, the February 2015 reading for Vedic Cancers. So, Vedic Cancers, let's see what's going on. Um, your first card out is the Knight of Swords. So it looks like you may be tempted to rush into something that you might later regret. Um, that you should heed any butterflies in your stomach and maybe slow it on down a little bit. Yeah, I think your gut is trying to talk to you. I feel like you're going to be feeling super passionate about something and angry maybe and feel like just going at it with everything you have and just cutting it to pieces. Um, but I don't think that is such a hot idea. I think that might just be fueling the fire more than kind of healing the situation. Um, so yeah, slow down, take a break if you can. Maybe kind of access the sadness that is underneath the anger. Um, even if you feel like no one is really receptive to hearing your troubles, or something. I feel like it would be really healthy for you to find a shoulder to cry on this month um, because I think it'll be more well received than you might imagine or you may just feel kind of alone but I think people will come to your aid if you need them to just listen you know because I think you might just be feeling a little overwhelmed your cup's a little full and I think that people will be there for you though Don't back yourself into a corner where you feel like you can't talk to anyone. Um, because I think this is a situation that um, has the potential to affect a lot of people. Or affect your home waters in such a way that it can't just be ignored. So you have to kind of pour it out to somebody rather than striking out, rather than kind of slashing and burning kind of cry it out, <laughs> I feel like, or unburden yourself uh, to someone or to maybe a group who is willing to listen to you. Because I feel like they're going to get it. They're going to either be like, I've been there before, or I can't imagine, it must feel so awful. And it's going to open up like more of a path to you, allow you to get a better footing on where you should go from there. Again, it's telling you not to rush in to anything. Um, yeah, so you may take this little bit of comfort and feel like, okay, I'm going to go back to the situation and I'm going to say blah, blah, blah. And I feel like it's like, it's really like that is only going to get you into further trouble, get you further enchained to this situation or this person who's acted negatively to you. Um, it's just going to feed the flames. Like, you really need to just take it easy this month. Um, listen to your gut. And take your time to consider things. Because I think that... Kind of opening up a little bit to what there is in your life that you really value and sitting with whatever this is for a while just kind of holding it lightly is going to lead you forward in a more positive way than any kind of rushing in you might be tempted to do I really feel like you want to cut and burn <laughs> And I feel like, yeah, after you get a little bit of help, you may be like, okay, well, I'll just t change tactics and do it this way. But it seems like just wait on that. It's just going to get you further entangled. So um, take your time. Begin to practice the strength of uh, withdrawing or withholding. I mean, withholding is often used in a negative sense. Um, but I think that what you need to say can be said, but needs to be spoken from the heart. And you may need to take some time before you can 
give that message from the heart. But that is healing when you get to that point. But give yourself some time because I think there's a real danger of rushing in. Um, I think you're afraid that your future is going to be barren in some way. Like, there's a real fear that, like, the future's messed up somehow, and it's not what you thought, and I think it just makes you want to retreat in this way. Um, but, again, with the intuition, there's something, there's, like, a larger wisdom at work here, and you are still in line to have things work out the way that you want them in the larger picture, it may be that what you had planned on uh, growing with in the present is not available, but that things are still working out as they are supposed to in the larger picture. In the greater scheme of things, things are going along just as they should. Um, don't give of your time too readily this month. I feel like you're going to need it just to like work through these issues. Um, Balance yourself. An internal balance is going to be really important for you this month. Like, really important for you. You know, internal balance is always important, but it feels like you could easily lose your balance if you're putting yourself in too many situations where you're giving and not receiving or just spending time with people who drain you. And you just don't have time for that this month. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um... And you also may need to focus your efforts on being fair to your children, if you have children. Um, being fair to... Someone who needs you. But you may have to modify the way in which you... It's like you need to balance out the kind of care you're giving. I think that's what it is. Um, you can't just give and give and give and give because that's going to make you resentful eventually. You need to balance it out so that it's more um, sustainable, whether this is in a relationship with a child or with another person that you feel like that kind of connection with or you feel like you have to kind of take care of them. You need to make it more sustainable deal with the things that are coming up now and change them in a way to make it more sustainable for your future together and for them to grow up and grow out of needing you. I see messages coming for you, a lot of messages. With news expected and unexpected. Um... Cats out of the bag. <laughs> I feel like there's, a, yeah, secrets that are being revealed, but that they're healing, you know. Um, I think you're kind of getting a glimpse of how your family might grow um, into a bigger circle, a wider circle. This could be a family of friends. It could be an extended family. It could be, you know, a blended family or something. But I feel like you're getting some sort of healing messages about that bring people together, or about bringing people together, about both revealing things, putting things out in the open, so that a new union can be reached. And I think that's going to put you on firmer ground to think more about, to kind of just feel refreshed, feel like yourself again, 
in some way. Um, I think it's gonna confirm something that you've suspected. And I think for some of you men, for some of you cancer men, there may also be sort of a woman coming out of nowhere that suddenly you're noticing in a different way. It's maybe someone in distress. Um, but someone who's been, I was saying this for some other sign too, but someone who's been peripheral kind of coming more to the center after this news. And for some people it will be health news about um, health issues in the family. Um, but somebody that's going to bring someone into a different, uh, turn your vision of them from black and white to technicolor. And suddenly you're like, oh, I never saw you there. Interesting. Then you may need to take some time out to decide what to do with that. Because um, it seems like there may be complications there. Just a lot that, that needs to be fitted together in order to proceed with that person. Um, and ladies, this may be for you too, that somebody is suddenly seeing you in a different light this month. Where they're like, oh, actually you're a really big deal to me. Okay, how do I make that work though? Um, and so yeah, there's this feeling of kind of retracing old ground of uh, maybe feeling a little stuck. Like you kind of just realize something, but you don't see how you can proceed with it. Something like that. You may also need to remind yourself that you actually do have control in this situation. It may just seem like, it may seem like things are popping up all of a sudden in a way that is exciting but overwhelming. And you may have to remind yourself that you actually can order this situation in such a way that it's productive rather than overwhelming. So you may have to remind yourself that you have some power, some personal power here. Yeah, I see you moving towards a goal that you kind of think other people might disapprove of, but you kind of feel drawn to do it anyway. You may even feel like you kind of disapprove of it, but you find yourself kind of riding there anyway, just to see what's gonna happen. And I think that whatever intuition you have about this thing is right, because it seems like there's a very positive renewal that can take place in a new kind of life that can maybe be getting started this month. Um, I think it's going to take a while to kind of fully manifest. And it's going to require planning and um, honesty, which right now I think you kind of feel the need to keep this under wraps, which may be a good idea for now because you anticipate it causing whatever this new thing that you're drawn to do or new person you're drawn to, you anticipate it causing uh, strife within existing relationships or yeah, within existing relationships. So you're kind of waiting, biding your time until you have the strength to deal with that. And in the meantime, kind of nursing this idea. Maybe the more you think about it, the more you're like, oh, maybe that's just silly, but 
I think there's a part of you that really knows that um, there's like a future with this person who seems difficult to bring fully into your life where it seems like right now you can't quite do it. Uh, and I think you're going to receive an enlightenment over time about how to make that work. And it's going to be a little lighter than you think. I don't think that it's going to be quite as difficult or hamstrung as you have in mind. I think it's going to be easier to get there than you imagine. But I do think you need to kind of sit tight with your intentions and think about how you want to manifest this. And then I think there can be a real meeting of the minds um, and the hope for a new future, a new home with somebody. Somebody strong. The woman is strong. And the man is strong as well. They're both experienced, is the sense that I get. I think this is a very even match. A very positive, very positive union. But it looks like it needs some time to kind of percolate, to settle in. So I hope that's helpful for you Cancers for February 2015. And um, yeah, please feel free to comment below if you want a personal reading. Um, check in with me at the Ivy League Astrologer at gmail.com and I will set something up for you. Okay, thanks so much. Bye -bye.